it says that he heard that on the day of judgment, sinners will be put in boxes and thrown in hell so that they would not see how the others are being punished. And he's uh, referring to Surah Al-Anbiya. So he says, is this true? I've never ever heard such a thing in my life. I, I don't know of any such thing. On the contrary, the Quran and the Sunnah tells us that the people of hell, they watch one another being punished and they exchange queries and questions and blame one another. So what you have mentioned, my friend Hamid, I do not know any authentic source for it being put in a box and thrown into hell because being punished on your own can be a relief. When you're punished publicly in front of everyone, this adds to your humiliation and to your pain and agony, and this is all what hell is about. And I would advise you, as I would advise all of my brothers and sisters, not to believe any such claims that come baseless without any evidence from the Quran or from the authentic Sunnah. With the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal, now you have knowledge at your fingertips. The problem is that the enemies of Allah have used this useful tool to infiltrate the Muslims by inserting their fabricated and baseless lies to be part of our, our deen. Islam is a very relig easy religion to learn and to acquire. And the sources available for individuals to know what is right and what is wrong are, alhamdulillah, readily available everywhere. But you have to know how to surf and how to investigate. Asking Sheikh Google doesn't do you any good. There is a website in Arabic called ad durar al-Saniya. It has great amount of information, but it's in Arabic. If you want something a little bit uh, um, suitable for your own, there is this great website, uh, www.islamqa.info, and you have questions and answers related to so many Islamic topics that would qualify this site in my opinion, to be the best Islamic site available at the moment. I use it, I benefit from it, and I get a lot of my translations through it. It has an Arabic uh, uh, site, and there are translations in English, in Turkish, in Urdu, in like 18 or 19 different languages. And the questions and answers are all authentic, inshallah, most authentic that you, you can ever find. So I would advise you to visit such a site, support it, and uh, see how you can benefit from it.